after study this is related to changing the uh, the process but uh, here micro motion study means uh, small activity made by our body or operator's body that will going to uh, records and each motions the time has been given and each motions there is the uh, specific words that is called thrubblings on uh, blackboards uh, um, you have to see the one chart is there thrubblings with the specific word for particular months and after that next column that is the symbols then code colors and meaning so this micro motion study it has been used while doing the assembly of micro uh, uh, assembly of the watch carburetors whenever a fixed activity it is going with help of two hands uh, under this we will going to check the motions and uh, each motions that the name is given thrubblings and with help of this 18 thrubblings how many thrubblings are there on the blackboards 18 18 so this thrubbling we have to use and with uh, this thrubbling will uh, design the simo chart and from this which things you will get which is the unnecessary motions and uh, for particular motions how much the time we have given that we have to reduce time for motions that we have to reduce just like our slow motions in our cricket what actually third umpire is doing okay same thing is there initially whatever the assembly is going in the a workshop or work stations or while working operators on the machines uh, you have to pictureize that with a video camera and after that with the slow motions we have to study the motion of both hands of operators legs of the operators okay and prepare the simo charts how much time is given for a uh, particular thrubbling for example uh, uh, you are doing the certain assembly so right hand it is going for searching the screw driver and left hand it is uh, going for holding job so holding is the one thrubbling and searching is the second thrubbling okay so with help of these two thrubbling uh, we are doing that assembly okay so how much motion is there for both hand and how much time is there so this we have to represent on a chart that chart is called uh, simo chart simultaneously motion chart is there after this thrubblings will going to see but before this uh, 18 thrubblings are there as per the uh, f gilbert scientist f gilbert scientist this is related to the micro motion study or motion study but f w taylor this is related to method study and both scientists has made their contributions while developing industrial engineering and in industry this industrial engineering concept is uh, uh, wide utilized for cost reduction purpose and nowadays cost reduction plays the important roles in the industry because if you reduce the cost definitely more profit will be there it is a profitable thing so in every industry nowadays design is exist drawing is exist technology is exist but even though the recently uh, joined engineer they will have to concentrate on the quality and cost reduction concept so here the uh, main purpose we have to reduce the cost related to the micro motion of operator's body reduce some motion reduce the time required for the motion and for this purpose we require thoroughly okay so uh, you can observe these charts thoroughly 18 thoroughly are there this is the objective types of question in uh, uh, your exam 
how many thurblings are exist as per F W Gilbert. So initially it was sixteen. Now two has been two thurblings. It has been added. So thurbling search. Suppose our one hand is searching for a bone. Then how we have to show by the symbol? We can see the symbol. So here is the symbol. So this is the symbol. This is the code. This is the color. And what is the meaning? Last word meaning. Suppose uh, we are using a search symbol. The code is S H and color is black. Locating an article or locating a job. Okay, so where uh, we have to put and uh, after putting when if we want to uh, take that, then we have to go there and search that job. Okay, so in our store, so many materials are there. Okay, so we are going there and putting the particular materials on. Uh, Some other materials, and we are taking it back to the shop floor. So searching, you have to show that symbol. Code is S H and color is black. Then second thurbling is find. Find the jobs. So find the jobs. The symbols below searching it is given. Then code is F. Color is gray. The mental reaction at the end of search. Once searching is over. Then you have to go for finding. So different words are there. Search means already exist there, and if you are uh, not getting, then you have to go for find. So the mental reaction at the end of search, this is called find. Then select. So for so many bolts are there, you have to select that, or so many operations are there, you have to select. That is shown by arrow. The code is S T. And light gray, gray colors, we can show the thurbling, choosing an object means uh, you have to select any jobs. For that, you have to use this thurbling. Grass. So with the help of fingers, we can grass. Okay. So grass uh, symbol it is given. It is actually uh, denoted by code G. Color is a red. and gaining control of an object why we are grasping any for any part grasping means we have to gaining control over the object okay and the code why this code is required just like our cnc in vmc machines a different code g code and m code is there so g code m code there is a specific meaning meaning similarly here grass symbol is there and code is g okay so what is the meaning of g gaining control of an object means uh, we have to hold that object then next uh, hold you can see the holding symbol that is the uh, given by the code h color is uh, gold occur then holding job okay grasping means we have to touch that work piece and after that we can take it away from the place that is called holding then six transports means after this uh, we have to take that job away from the original place that is the transport symbol is given just like inverted half circles and one line is there and code is tl and the color is green so what it indicate it indicate movement of a job then position just like marathi one code is p color is blue a definite place means we have to fix the particular place for this pur purpose we are using position assembly now on number of papers on, on your result sheet also you might have seen this symbol that is the assembly of all subject five subjects are there and related marks is there the assembly it shows that uh, this symbols and code is a violet colors putting parts together means all parts we have to put together all subject marks on the one sheet assembly is there then tenth thurbling use so in our 
your u u is there symbol similar symbols for code purple color is there use of tool or jobs to control correct uh, use of tool use of jobs to control for this purpose we can use then uh, this right side disassembly two lines oblique line is there da light white color is there separate part disassembly separate part is there so here is the disassembly so here is the uh, disassembly part is there so here the some numbering problem is there so, so here it is the after this is the paper So stage number is there. This assembly like this way. We separate the parts. This assembly means separate the parts. This assembly means separate the parts. Now thermaling numbers eleven in a spec means uh, we have to check that symbol it is given. Then uh, your code is I burnt violet color. In a spectrum means a uh, testing. Then thermaling numbers twelve pre positions, initial position or locating position symbol is given. Uh, then the code is double P pale blue locating tool or job pre position means locating tool or job. You have to fix the position of the job that is called locating. Then thirteen release opposite to transport air transport release is there RL. Trans red color is there. Reloading. So far, this meaning is the release means reloading. Then fourteen transportation empty. Transportation loaded is there. Transportation empty is there. And code is C. Only green color is there. Movement without load. There is no load. Transportation empty. Rest is there. Just we are sitting on the chair. That is the rest denoted by R codes, orange colors. Pause means we have to stop for some time. That is called pause. Sixteen numbers unavoidable delay means uh, power off. This is unavoidable delay. M S C B power off. Unavoidable de delay. We cannot uh, avoid this. Okay. So for this purpose, the symbol is used. UD is there, yellow color delay. Then avoidable delay means a tool wear. We can replace that tool. Avoidable delay because of the tools. Sometimes machine will not work. Then we can replace the tools and machine will start. For this symbol is given CD. The lemon here, wow, and control delay is there. Meaning is control delay means we can. Control that delay, replacing tool. Okay, because of the um, uh, the belt break, the machine uh, get delay. We can replace the belt and start that. So this is avoidable delay, controllable delay. And last one is plan. So we have to sit down the chairs and plan it. P N is there, brown color is there. So what is the meaning of this plan? Course of action. The plan means course of C A means course of action. So like this, 18th turbulence uh, are there. So this 18th turbulence we can use in micro motion study. Once again, I will repeat. Under work study, the method study is there and work measurement. So work measurement we are going to see in second section. in method study related to method of doing jobs it comes under the activity means one part of method study it comes under the activity activity means which operations you are doing okay and next part that is micro motion means motion of your hand and it study neglect unnecessary motion neglect the time required for particular motion so this method study developed by f w taylor and micro motion study that is developed by our f gilbert so in order to study this micro motions 
we require the camera photograph just like a uh, film industry just like third umpire the slow motions we have to study the motion of the particular activity how much time is required and what types of motion and while plotting the simo chart this 18 symbols or third links we can use and from this we can justify uh, is it possible to reduce certain motions is it possible to reduce the certain times for particular motion so uh, here is uh, examples you have to remember while making the assembly of watch making the assembly of the carburetors making the assembly of roller chains this in one place sitting if any worker is sitting at one place and doing some work with both hands that situations we require the mark uh, micro motion study and uh, that we have to get it plot on the simo chart graphical representation of the motion by using curve links okay so 18 curve links uh, we can use for a uh, simo chart okay so now we will go for the next part what is the simo chart simultaneously motion chart so simultaneously motion charts this is actually graphical representation of the micro motion of the hand of the operator under study usually the third links of the two hands are recorded okay examples i have given suppose one man is doing the assembly of your hand watch watch is there doing the assembly of the watch now uh, that operator or that man is using his both hands so the motion of both hand that is actually recorded by using this curve link okay so curve links time and total time that we have to represent on the simo chart okay so up to here it is clear micro motion study 18 curve links are there multiple choice questions are there and sometimes uh, uh, they will uh, give symbol to you and they will ask about these curve links sometimes uh, they will give a uh, symbolic code and they will ask about color or meaning so fixed uh, question should be uh, there in related to thrubling okay so multiple choice of questions in your coming exams or in your gate exams always be there related to 18 thrubling okay so you have to study this 18 thrubling with symbol with code with colors with meaning so anyhow you have to remember this chart okay so if anybody having any questions you can ask any question is there related to curve links curve links means micro motion of our hand just like searching in what way hand is going grasping holding transportation position like this way 18 curve links are there symbols and code and with help of this we will going to uh, make a simo charts means after this uh, we will go for simo charts okay so shall i remove this shall i go to the next or still anybody having any problem shall i go to the next uh, part that is simo charts by using same curve links hello anybody from your side shall i go to the next okay thank you so we'll go for a uh, simo charts
So SI and MO, these two words that they have taken and they have made the short form CMO chart simultaneously motion chart. So this is the graphical representation of the micromations of operator's hand by using the third link of two hands it has been recorded. So here we have left hand and right hand. So how we can make this? So here is the assembly of left hand board. So, one example we have to take, assembly of nut pole, here uh, there should be the name of the operators, then uh, the video numbers should be there, date should be there, chart should be there, chart checked by, presented by, all these primary things are there. So, here is uh, operations, how uh, we make the chart. After this left hand, so this is the initial parts of CMO chart. CMO chart SI means simultaneously, MO means motions. The first two words they have taken how to make the chart. Just uh, you can make these rectangles, operations, name of the operator, present methods, any film numbers or the video numbers, date, and checked by who. So like this initial uh, parts always be there in every chart. Maybe operation chart, maybe two hundred process chart, flow process chart, multiple activity chart. Every chart. Initial information should be there, means operation, name of the operator, method, the recording parts, checked by and date, everything should be there. After this, left hand the operation and right hand the operation. So here uh, we will make uh, the left hand here. So this uh, symbol should be there. So this symbol uh, will be there. This time.
So, uh, in the charts, in the chart, two parts are there. Left hand. What actually our left hand is doing? Correct. What thurblings we are using? What is its code and what is the time? And in middle one chart is there. That is the total times, cumulative times we are going to count. Then same things related to right hand. So here it is the right hand. Right hand. Same thing is there. So first, uh, what is our operation? Nut to bolt. Assembly is there. Nut to bolt assembly. So let us we go through the our uh, uh, this first symbol. What is that? First symbol that is the two bolt, two bolt and two nut. Means you have to bring that bolt and you have to bring that nut. Its operation is a transportation operation. So this operation is transportation. Which turbine shall we use here? Which turbine uh, we can use? This is the transportation. So nut and bolt. So transportation MT will be that means uh, uh, we have to bring this bolt and nut. So here you can use the the transportation symbol U. So this is the transportation symbol. So here it is a P. Or you can bring with the nut and bolt. You can bring like this and here it is that. Transportation with the loaded. Transportation with the loaded. And here are two symbols. Time. So how much time is required? This time we wait for the your micro motion study camera. Camera is with you. So total time. Let us consider for this activity. This time is twelve. This time is twelve. Total time is two. Both hands are doing. This time is twelve. Within the 12 times, both hands doing the same work, means within the 12 minutes or 12 seconds, both hands doing the same things, total time is 12. Okay. Then grasp the bolt. Grasping next activity is there. Grasp bolt. The first Grasp. Grasp bolt. Here also grasp nut. Grasp nut. So you have to bring that bolt and nut. Means your hand should be nearer to nut and bolt. And after this, grasp that nut and bolt. Okay. So this side. Nut is there, this side bolt is there. So, this is the transportation. Okay, bring here 
and before bringing you have to go there and lo load this okay so here uh, sometimes you can uh, uh, move your hands with the empty means uh, presently we don't have any load in our hand under this condition if you are using the transportation with the empty then this line will not be there and here it is just empty this line should not be there here it is empty because initially our hand is like this way then we have to go for this way empty transportation is there this is the thrubling this is the motion of our hand so this e to be there if initially we have any pocket in our hand then we will go to to bring okay and uh, along with that tray is the nut and bolt is there then it is called loaded okay so initially uh, unloaded part will be there then we have to grasp this grasp symbol is there grasp this is the grasping symbol that is the related by this is the grasping symbol Okay, this is the denoted by C. Now, what is the time for? What is the time for this? Let us consider both hands are doing same thing. Okay, so like this way, grasping and bringing here. Okay, so both time simultaneously. our left and right hand side in simultaneous motion time is equal so let us consider this time is same this time is same what is the cumulative time cumulative time this is the twenty two cumulative time means initial time plus present time this is the next thing then move to the assembly move to the assembly means uh, once a uh, grasping is there means in our hand there is a load of nut and bolt so this is the chalk in my hand the, this transportation is loaded transport here you can use the loaded transportation okay so transportation is there loaded transportation there so line should be there so third part so this is the move to us Root of assembly, like this is called it as root of assembly. This thing was it there, and the other thing is the T here. Can see. This is the root of the X. Again, if you have to consider a tank, so chalk is in my hand. This means loaded, and then we are going for assembly. So loaded transportation. This is the empty. This is the loaded. So our simultaneously our hand is going empty. One hand bolt and one hand nut coming with this loaded. So this is the loaded. Let us consider time tank. What is the cumulative time? What is the cumulative time? Twenty-two plus ten. Twenty-two plus ten. So here, twenty-two plus ten. Thirty-two. This is the thirty-two cumulative time. And hold bolt. After that, you can hold the bolt. Then position. Position to uh, not over this. So our fourth activity, hold, hold, holding is that just we are holding. Simple for holding like this. Yeah, position not over the board.
music can not over the board this is the fourth so here let us consider time a Okay. Just over the board. What is the position here? Then, what is the symbol of position? Position not over the board. Position. What is the symbol here? P. So yeah. Okay. Now, what is the cumulative time for this? Cumulative time is for four p two. So this is the your simo chart. So this is the your simo chart. So once again, I will explain what is the importance of the simo charts and how we can use the simo chart on the uh, ground floor in the industry. So uh, you can uh, use these two hand, left hand, right side. study in this way so our total cumulative time is 42 for assembly of nut and bolt our total cumulative time is 42 now it is expected through the simo charts in the shop floor of the industry we have to reduce this time if activities or motions are fixed then you can think over uh, the times instead of 42 is it possible to make 35 then which suggestion shall we give to the operators so that the less cost will be there production cost will get less assembly will fast efficiency will be there productivity will be more okay so this is actually the uh, importance of the CMO chart so main advantages of CMO chart, first advantage is to eliminate unproductivity operations like search, select and hold. Search, select and hold. Normally in CMO chart, you have to um, concentrate on the three way, uh, words, that is the search, select and hold. Avoid the time for searching, avoid the time for selecting, avoid the time for holding. Okay. So as per Japanese technology, as possible as you have to avoid the searching time. So that you have to make arrangement. This is normally, uh, it is called housekeeping. In housekeeping means right atom at the right place. Any times if you go in same place, that atom will be there. This is housekeeping. Why this is so? Because we have to avoid the time for searching, selecting, okay, holding. Unnecessary, we have to wait for some time. This is unnecessary time. So, main a uh, need of CMO charts to avoid these three words. Which word? The selection searching and holding selection searching and holding okay so grasping a bolt this 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 also time we can reduce immediately we can grasp so that instead of 10 seconds you can go for next here is the 10 also 
So uh, we can uh, reduce certain uh, times while grasping, while holding, while searching, while selecting. So this is a, a main importance of the, our chemo chart. Next, resequencing of productive herb links to reduce the cycle time. Now this is the cycle time. So one, two, three, four. Again, we have to go for one, two, three, four. So how much cycle time is here? Forty-two. So these forty-two times cycle times to make the assembly of nut bolts that we have to reduce. So instead of forty-two, we can make thirty-five. Okay. So what is actually problems with the operators or any logical things that we have to think and reduce this? Use of other parts like feet in the place of hand and thoroughly reduce the fatigue. Now sometimes instead of two hands, we can also use your legs for assembly purpose. Now nut bolt assembly, we don't require nut, uh, uh, legs. Okay. But in some cases, in power mechanical process, you can see operator is using his both hand as well as his both legs, legs for operating purpose and two hands for feeding and removing the job purpose. So uh, like this way, we can reduce the time. Means the uh, uh, left and right hand you can use, but apart from this, is it possible to make use of your legs for operation purpose? Then you can also use this. Okay. Then using the laws of motions to improve the existing method so that I avoid the fatigue. Using the laws of motions means the laws of motion going fast and we are taking the rest. Some the laws of motion is that okay, I am going this and coming back. This unnecessary motion we can avoid, uh, as well as the workstation while doing the work on the workstation. So we are doing like this way, we are doing like this way. So whole day, if you are doing like this way, like this, means uh, after eight hours, the operator will get fatigue. Fatigue. And because of that fatigue, we at the end of this, his duty, uh, he will feel uh, restless or his efficiency will get decreased. Okay, so you have to design the workplace in such way that there should not be any additional motion in your body. You have to design your workplace in such a way, no additional motion no trace will get developed in the body of the operators no traces to both hands okay otherwise the assembly of that part or the uh, within the that shift the operator feel dullness restless okay and uh, it affect on the efficiency affect on the production affect on the productivity and last part is the, your profitability. So this thing always be there. So this is the importance of the chemo charts. Then uh, next uh, two part of the chapter, critical examinations and uh, development and selection of the method. So critical examinations. So by asking different types of questions while making the implementation of the improved methods and uh, develop the new method this two part is remaining so next lectures we are going to think over these two parts that is the uh, critical examinations and questioning techniques and development and selection these two articles we are going to see in the next lecture so today what we have seen in this lecture different types of serving okay so for, for particular activity, uh, our uh, two hand is doing certain motion. That motion is nothing but our thurbling. So select, grasp, hold. These are the thurbling. So like these 18 thurblings are there. And that is developed by F. Gilbert. And this, uh, this thurbling, 
we have to study with the video camera film and by slow speed motions you have to note down the each motions and related time and total times you have to calculate and from this so unnecessary motion we have to reduce unnecessary the times we have to reduce reduce the times of the uh, your assembly or what actually you are doing after that uh, you have to uh, design the workplace in such way that the operator uh, should not feel any fatigue cycle times you have to reduce and if possible you can follow the laws of motions to improve the existing method so these are the advantages of the simo chart so today we have seen the 18 thermlink and use of thermlink in the simo chart with one example assembly of nut and bolts with the two hands see that in method study two handed chart is there but this is related to activity but in micro motions again left and right hand is there but this is related to the motions method study left and right activity and here it is motion okay so you have to uh, keep this uh, difference between the micro motion and method study okay so this is about the today's lecture if anybody having any doubt you can ask questionary will be there till uh, 10 minutes with us uh, even though uh, is there any questions you can ask simo chart simultaneously motion chart where we can use in study of micro motion examples you can take repair of your watch nut and bolt assembly with two hand and main purpose to reduce the uh, your uh, total times required for the assembly unnecessary motions we have to reduce the you have to design the workplace in such way that operator should not feel fatigue making the use of laws of motions so that the uh, operator should not feel any restless so these are the main advantages of the simo chart okay so uh next part that is the critical examinations and questioning techniques so in 10 minutes sir there will continue so up to here anybody having any doubt you can ask once again today i would like to request all of you to submit test number 1 through the mails few students have submitted because this mark will going to count in your term work and similar types of questions will going to ask in your exam so try to concentrate the similar types of questions okay now we'll go to a next part critical examination and questioning techniques okay uh, we will go to the next uh, technique in our method for critical examination and questioning technique
so second last part of the chapter critical examination and questioning technique so aim of the critical examination is to analyze the facts whatever existing things is there in industry you have to analyze separate the facts and informations critically to provide alternatives first of all what is the present thing in going in, in that industry we have to analyze get it separate and uh, provide some alternative and which will forms the base for selection and development of improved method okay so what is the main aim of critical examinations or questionnaire study of the existing technique separating all these thing and re uh, reinstallations or reforms the base for selection or development of improved method so uh, main a point need to be considered under the critical examinations so analyze in short how we can write the meaning of this analyze the fact and provide the alternative so here is the main use of the so selection and development this is the last part of our chapter so for this whatever the present fact is there in the shop laws that you have to analyze and provide the best alternative for this so uh, following point must be considered while critical examination so points to be remembered so in this critical examination which points you will going to remember the first point facts means actual situation should be exam without any bias means uh, there should not be any history in your mind bias means uh, previous history in your mind so whatever things it is going that you have to observe or we can exam this okay so this is the first point second fact to be exam as they are means first uh, the fact you have to uh, exam without any previous history or whatever facts is there you have to get it exam as it is no change in that so this is first thing each state should be analyzed logically each state should be Wow. 
certain logic should be there certain uh, points should be there for this each step should analyze logically and next point so here sir uh, pre mature judgment should be avoided opening regarding existing method should be made after analyzing of the existing method okay pre mature judgment should be avoided and last one So, premature means childhood. The over competence. Let us be think over this. So, you you cannot do this. You can use certain logic, analyze exam as it is without any previous history. These points you have to remember upon critical exam. Critical exam means analyze the facts. and provide the best alternative for the same okay so now our time is over so we will stop here and next lecture we'll cover the remaining part next lecture this is the last lectures related to the chapter number 2 okay after that the test number 2 will be there but before test number 2 you have to get it submit the test numbers one okay so thank you once again all of you we'll stop here